Welcome to Starting Out Solitary. It is Sub Week, and I'm your host, Vicki, for Sunday. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about offerings. We're going to be talking about who we give them to and why, and anything else that has to do with them. Um, for me, I don't have too, too much to say about them, other than I have two people I give offerings to very frequently, and don't really use them for much else other than that. Um, so first I'll talk about the fairies. I love working with the fae, but they are very demanding and very tricky. <laughs> um, they really, really like shiny things, and they like to know that you are constantly thinking of them and acknowledging their presence. So the easiest way that I have come to figure to work with them is to just put a little offering dish by the window anytime I see any like change that's left around the apartment on the floor, anytime I see any little crystals or anything that I could put in there, if I mismatch some earrings I can put the one that I don't have in there. Um, and then when I fill the whole thing up I just toss them all outside. Whoever wants to pick up my change and use it for whatever can use it, but um, to me once you give an offering you shouldn't use it. I know in some cultures an offering the whole family shares it, they eat it if it's a food item, all different things like that, but for me I think an offering is giving something up. So, like, here's this change that I could use for laundry because I'm a college student and I need quarters for everything. <laughs> or I could put them in my offering dish and the fairies won't take my keys before I need to get to class two campuses away. Probably gonna give the fairies my change. <laughs> um, it's not like they're like bad or anything when I don't give them change, but it just makes them move my stuff around a lot less. They really like messing with me, they really like moving things around, and it happens a lot less when I make sure that I acknowledge them and give them some things. So I've got the whole apartment into it. I'm like, if you see change, put it in the fairy dish. <laughs> and then other than the fae, I really like to give offerings to Demeter. She's my patron goddess. Um, she's a mother goddess. She is a harvest goddess. She's one of the most interesting stories in Greek mythology and one of the most interesting people in my opinion and she's also the first goddess who ever came to me during a meditation and initiated that whole um, new relationship with me because a lot of the times when I want to speak to a god or goddess I kind of channel their energy and do a meditation and try to speak with them but she just came to me herself so we have like this really special connection and because of that, I feel like I want to give her offerings. Um, so usually I do like little food things, anything pretty, sometimes crystals and things. And like I said, I do an offering, so put it out for her if it's food or something. Once, once it's been there for like a day or two, I'll go feed it to the birds, things like that. Um, and yeah, and I think that she likes how I go about that, so <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah. Other than that, I just don't really give offerings unless I really want to ask for something. Like if I want it to rain and I want to leave out something for Odin. Speaking of the rain, you can probably hear it. <laughs> it's raining really hard right here right now and it's my favorite, so I love that. Um, but yeah, so those are who I give offerings to. I know they're used for a variety of reasons, um, but mine are very simple. Just like them, so I want to give them things. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week and keep watching because there's lots of things people have to say about different offerings. So I will see you guys next time I sub and have an awesome week. Blessed be. Bye.